What's going on everybody? Welcome to another Pro Wrestling Talk video brought to you by Blitzball Champ Gaming here on the U to the 2. I am your host Blitzball Champ Jason Ingram. First off, as you can see, I got better lighting now because I got one of these babies. Yeah. But yeah, I was able to get myself a new ring light so I got some lighting now, so you can actually see see my face. The place is a little more a little more lit up. There's a little bit of glare, but the place is more lit up. Eh? Not bad, eh? Anyway, for this video, gonna do a review of Stardom's New Blood number eight show that happened uh, this past Friday, and I'm going to go over the current standings of the Best of Super Juniors number 30. Uh, we were two days into the tournament, so I will give a quick update on the standings. I'll pull up the spreadsheet and go over the standings. But before we get started, I want to remind everybody to be sure to check out the link in the description for Game Beauty for an awesome lineup of video game themed makeup and cosmetic products. And if you see something you like and you want to make a purchase, be sure to use the promo code BLITZBALLCHAMP, all in caps, and you can get 10% off of your order. So be sure to check that out. So, let's get right into it. Stardom New Blood number 8 was this past Friday, May the 12th. It was at Shinagawa Inner City Hall, that was the venue in Tokyo, Japan. Stardom New Blood number eight. Wow, we're already at eight of them. Wow, these have been picking, picking up uh, at a pretty decent pace. But we had eight matches and uh, two title matches out of the eight. So um, let's go ahead and jump right in. So first up, we had a singles match where we had... Wakasukiyama versus Aya Sakura. So Wakasukiyama versus Aya Sakura. Um, overall, I thought this match was pretty good. Um, I definitely, I definitely felt that it could have gone on a little bit longer to give Aya Sakura a little bit more time. But I felt like this was a pretty decent matchup for Waka. Um, Aya Sakura definitely got in her strikes. And, you know, Waka did her thing as well. And Waka Tsukiyama came out of this match with a victory. She hit the Gokurakudan Goku Rakudan, um, that straight jacket edge o -matic that she likes to do. Uh, she hit that. Pender for the 1-2-3, and Wakasukiyama gets the victory in the opening match of Start of New Blood number 8. Uh, good to see her get a get a victory. I know it was over a rookie, but still, it's good to see her get a victory. But overall, it was a decent match. It was just really, really short. It was the shortest of all the matches. So it, I just felt like it needed more time. That's all. All right. Next up. We had my second favorite match of the entire card. Second favorite match of the entire card. We had the Battle of Sibling Teams. On one side, we had the Judo Sisters, Hanan and Hina, versus the Inaba Karate Sisters of Asusa and Tomoka Inaba from uh, Just Tap Out. Um, incredible match. Definitely a great clash of styles. It was really awesome seeing these four ladies go at it. And, you know, there was already kind of a little bit of a rivalry leading up to this, of course, between Hanan and Tomoka Inaba. Because, remember, Hanan has actually defended uh, the future stardom title before in the past against Tomoka Inaba. So there's a lot of history between those two. And they've even, you know, wrestled each other at previous uh, Start of New Blood shows. So this was definitely good to see this rivalry continue, but this time having a sibling team battle, which I thought was really cool. I 
felt like it was done really well. And all four ladies looked awesome. We got to see a good combination of judo and karate in this match. A lot of strikes, a lot of takedowns and throws. The works. Definitely enjoyed this match. And sure enough, it went to a time limit draw. So no winners here. Time limit draw. And I definitely don't think it's over between these ladies. I hope to see these ladies go at it again. But the, the Judo sisters, the Karate sisters, I, I hope they continue that. I would love to see them go at it again. But good solid match. Ended at a time limit draw. And I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. But great match. Next up, we actually had my favorite match of the entire card. We had ourselves another tag team match. This time we had the team of Mai Sakurai and Chen Yoda teaming up to take on Suzu Suzuki and May Sarah. And I'll say this, Mai Sakurai and Chen Yoda have been a have been a good team so far. I really like their double team move of that um, that drop kick to Samoan drop. I definitely like that. Uh, of course, Mai Sakurai with the drop kick, Chad Yoda with the uh, the Samoan drop right after the hit. Thought that was really cool. But let me tell you what: the combination of Suzu Suzuki and May Sarah. Wow. Those two ladies are a great team. They already do amazing things uh, by themselves, but May Sarah, Suzu Suzuki, that is a solid team. And you know what? I would not be mad if they competed in the Goddesses of Stardom Tag League later this year. I think they would be a really solid team. I really do. It's a great clash of styles there, and you know what? It shows that both these ladies, you know, May Sarah, definitely known for high speed, but Suzu can actually hang with the high speed style of her own. So I was very impressed. Also, uh, May Sarah doing the uh, second rope springboard uh, blockbuster just right after hitting the ropes was impressive. That was so impressive. Um... A lot of good high-speed action here, and just the combinations that May Sarah and Suzu Suzuki were doing were just were awesome. Definitely, definitely awesome. Um, I loved this match from start to finish, um, and Suzu Suzuki was able to get the victory, pinning Mai Sakurai uh, after hitting her with the tequila shot, and Suzu and May pick up the victory. And like I said, keep an eye out for this team. I know they're going to do their single matches and such because I know May Sarah is still chasing that high-speed title. I hope she does get another shot at it. Um, but Suzu Suzuki, May Sarah, do not sleep on that team. That is a solid team that I think can do a lot of great things. And start of New Blood number 8 was a prime example. Not the first time they teamed up. They, they've teamed up before, but... Getting to see more and more of these two in action together as a team, this is a solid team. Keep an eye on them. But Suzu Suzuki, May Sarah with the victory at Stardom New Blood 8. My favorite match of the whole card. All right, next up, we had a singles match. Uh, we had Queen's Quest Miyu Amasaki taking on Momo Watanabe of Oedo Tai. Now... I had a few issues with this match. Had a few issues. Not to take anything away from either of these two ladies, but being that it's Miyu Amasaki, I felt like it was a little ridiculous that Momo Watanabe had to cheat and use, like, heel tactics in this match. I could see if she was going up against a Shiri or a Utami or a Azumi or a Saya Kamatani or a Julia or a Mayu Iwatani. But she was going against Miyu Amasaki and she had to cheat and use weapons and like distractions throughout the whole match. And I just, I thought it was a little ridiculous, a little ridiculous. You know, it kind of, 
even though Momo Watanabe got the victory, it kind of made her look a little weak. I just, I got to keep it real. I know it's Oedo Tai. I get it. But doing that much shenanigans in this match against Miyu Abasaki, you know, not, not to throw shade at Miyu, but was that was that really necessary? All that cheating and shenanigans in this match? Like, I could see if it was a title match or a bigger name opponent, but that... That was a little too much. That was a little too much and ridiculous. But be you, she she did her best, but just the shenanigans and everything wasn't enough. As Momo Watanabe hits be you Abasaki with a Hito Denashi driver and pins her for the one two three. Momo Watanabe of of Oedo Tai picks up the victory of this singles match. But the match was a little ridiculous. Okay, next up, we have the uh, Passion Injection match. Uh, this came down to Nene Takahashi versus Ruka. I have to say, this was a pretty solid match. Uh, Ruka definitely looked really good in this match. I mean, taking a lot of Nene's offense and fighting back, she showed a lot of fighting spirit. In this match, I gotta, I gotta give Ruka credit. I really do. She showed a lot of fighting spirit in this match, and she was hanging with the day Takahashi, but like power versus power, she was hanging. She was hanging with her. I gotta give her credit. And you know, this match was was pretty back and forth, uh, but the day Takahashi was able to eventually put away Ruka. Hits her with a running lariat. Pins her for the one, two, three. Nene Takahashi wins this match, but gotta give kudos to Ruka. She looked really strong in this match. A lot of fighting spirit, and she came close. She came really close. So, and we have to remember, Ruka is a former future stardom champion, so I love it. I love it. Okay. Next up, we had the, we had the first of the two title matches for start of new blood eight starting off we had the new blood tag team championships on the line as the champions uh starlight kid and karma uh defend the titles uh this is actually their first title defense against the team of lady c and hanako pretty much the two tallest ladies in stardom currently and I gotta give Lady C and Hanako credit. They they look pretty good as a tag team. I, I like this tag team. I hope they do more together. I don't know, I don't see Hanako joining Queen's Quest or anything like that. But I do hope that these two will team up more. I, I like the team that they have. Um, and you know, they tried to get the jump early on the champions, but just wasn't enough to keep down Karma and Starlight Kid. Um, but you know what? This match was very solid. This was a solid match. Uh, it went the distance. But uh, Starlight Kid was able to uh, get the pet on Hanako with uh, Mom Momorachi uh, for the 1-2-3. Very close match, but Starlight Kid and Karma retained the New Blood Tag Team titles. Now, after the match, they received a challenge from the Inaba sisters, Asusha, Asusa and Toboka Inaba, challenge the champions. And you know what? I'm definitely looking forward to that match. I feel like it's a little early for uh, the Inaba sisters, but you know what? I'm not mad at this. I'm not mad at this challenge. Why not? I'm down. I'm down. So maybe that will be their next title defense, say, start of New Blood 9, which I believe is in June or July. I think June. So that'll be here before you know it. So definitely keep an eye out for that. But Starlight Kid and Karma retain the New Blood Tag Team Championships. Okay, next up, we had our second title match, the Future of Stardom Championship on the line 
as the champion, God's Eyes, Ami Sore, defended against Oedo Tai's Rina. Uh, definitely a solid match. A uh, good clash of styles there. Of course, Ami Sore, the more power fighter of the two. And you know what? I got to give credit to Rina. Rina looked really solid in this match, which, you know, she's had some good singles matches before. So this is nothing, nothing too crazy. But she really brought the fire to Ami Sore, which is definitely needed. In a match like this, this is definitely needed. And sure enough, it went the distance, and Rina not only defeated Ami Sore, but she made her tap out. I did not see that coming. I did not think she was going to make her tap out, but Rina submits Ami Sore with a modified uh, octopus stretch, and Rina is your new future of stardom champion. Wow. I I honestly did not expect this to happen. I really didn't. But I, I gotta give her credit. She made Ami Sore tap out. That That's impressive. I mean, looking at Ami Sore in her stardom career, I don't know I don't know too many times where she's tapped out. If any. This might be like, what? Her first or second time? Tapping out? Like, Ami Sore normally doesn't tap out. So, I was shocked. I was really shocked. But, um, Rena is your new Future of Stardom champion. Congratulations to her. Uh, we'll have to see what kind of run she gets with it. And it looks like, after the match, Lady C challenged uh, Rena. So, it looks like Lady C, perhaps, might be Rena's first challenger. We shall see. We shall see. And then the main event came down to Tam Nakano versus Tam Nakano, who was really now Ishikawa. But it started off kind of goofy, and then, it, then Tam Nakano pretty much got more serious, and, you know, playtime was over, and then she just really started laying into now Ishikawa. Um, but yeah. Honestly, good match, but nothing really surprising happened in this match. Although, there were two Natsu boys, so thought that was kind of funny. But, uh, but yeah, overall, pretty good match. Uh, now, Ishikawa, you know, I've seen her before, especially back in Ice Ribbon, so definitely looked good. But, uh... I'm not necessarily sure this this should have, should have been the main event. I can't say that this should have been the main event, but Tam Nakano is the, the World of Stardom champion, so eh, it's whatever. But Tam Nakano, uh, the real Tam Nakano, uh, gets the pin uh, on fake Tam Nakano, now Ishikawa, uh, with a tiger suplex for the 1-2-3. And yeah, that was pretty straightforward. But... Uh, but yeah, that is start of New Blood 8. Uh, not too bad. Not too bad. We have uh, one title change. You know, got a new future stardom champion. So yeah, overall pretty decent show. Um, like I said, my favorite match was uh, My Sakurai Chan Yoda versus uh, Mei Sarah and Suzu Suzuki. That was definitely my favorite match on the card. But other than that, Pretty solid show. Okay, let's transition to New Japan Pro Wrestling's Best of Super Juniors tournament. Uh, we are two days into the tournament. So let's go ahead and look at the current standings so far of the Best of Super Juniors tournament. All right. Okay. Uh, oh, let me get rid of that. All right, sorry about that. All righty, so looking at the A block. So right now, sitting at zero points, uh, we got three at the bottom with zero points. We got Kushida, Ryusuke Takaguchi, and Sho. 
let's take a look at show first. Right now, show is 0-2 with losses to Leo Rush and speedball Mike Bailey. So he's been struggling. Um same thing with Ryusuke Takaguchi. Or Ryusuke Taguchi. I keep saying that wrong. Ryusuke Taguchi. Um, he is also 0-2 with losses to Leo Rush and Taiji Ishimori. And then Kushida. Wow, and a weird, rare start for him as Kushida is 0-2, losing to Doki and TJP. Really, really surprising. Did not see that coming. Anyway, we got four got four wrestlers sitting at two points, which are Doki, Hiromu Takahashi, Teton, and TJP. Let's look at TJP. So TJP is one and one. He's got a victory over Kushida and a loss to Teton. All right, Teton. Teton is one and one. He's got a victory over TJP and a loss to Taiji Ishimori. Okay? Hiromu Takahashi, the current IWGP Junior Heavyweight Champion, he is 1-1 one one, uh, with a victory over Doki and a loss to Speedball Mike Bailey, which so far has been my favorite match. So far, it's been my favorite match. Uh, that was the main event of the first night. And then finally, Doki. Doki, 1-1, one one, with a victory over Kushida and a loss to Hiromu Takahashi. And then we have three wrestlers sitting at the top with four points apiece, which are Leo Rush, Taiji Ishimori, and Speedball Mike Bailey. Let's look at Speedball Mike Bailey. He is 2-0 with a big victory over Hiromu Takahashi and a victory over Sho. So a great start for the former X Division champion. Okay. Taiji Ishimori, Bone Soldier out of Bullet Club. He is 2-0 with victories over Ryusuke, Taguchi, and Teton. So a strong start for the bone, so bone Soldier. And then finally, the bad child, Leo Rush. Record of 2-0. He's got victories over Ryusuke Taguchi and Sho. So the bad child looking really great. But yeah, your top three so far. Undefeated, Leo Rush, Taiji Shibori, Speedball Mike Bailey. But there's still plenty of... Plenty of matches coming up. Uh, for example, uh, next, uh, tomorrow, we got um, Leo Rush versus Hiromu Takahashi. Ooh, that should be really good. That should be really good. We also got Teton versus Kushida. That should be really good. Uh, we got uh, Taiji Ishimori versus uh, Doki. That ought to be really good. Uh, Sho versus Ryusuke Taguchi. Um, and we got Speedball Mike Bailey versus TJP. Oh, I'm actually looking forward to that. So a lot of good good matchups to look forward to out of the A block uh, tomorrow, May 14th. Alrighty, let's look at the B block. Oh, let me shift this over. There we go. All right, here we go with the B block. So. We got two wrestlers sitting at the bottom of the B block with zero points each, which are Kevin Knight and Bushi. Let's look at Bushi. Bushi is 0-2 with losses to El Desperado and Dan Maloney. So not a great start for Bushi out of LIJ. And then we have the Jet, Kevin Knight. Uh, one half of the IWGP Junior Heavyweight Tag Team Champions. He is 0-2 with losses to Francesco Akira and Clark Connors, uh, newest member of the Bullet Club. So a rough start for the 
for the champion, for the tag team champ. And then, let's see, we got one, two, three, four, five, six wrestlers in the B block sitting at two points currently, which are El Desperado, Yo, Master Wado, Francesco Akira, Dan Maloney, and Clark Connors. Let's take a look at Clark Connors. He is one and one with a victory over Kevin Knight, but a loss to Robbie Eagles. All right, Dan Maloney. He is one and one. He's got a victory over Bushi and a loss to Yoshinobu Kanemaru. All right, we got uh, United, United Empire's uh, Francesco Akira, which Dan Maloney is also part of. Um, Akira is one and one with a victory over Kevin Knight, but a loss to Master Wado. All right, let's take a look at Master Wado. He is one and one, a victory over Francesco Akira, but a loss to Yo. All right, let's look at Yo. He is one and one, a victory over Master Wado, but a loss to Robbie Eagles. And then El Desperado, one and one. He's got a victory over Bushi, but a loss to Yoshinobu Kanemaru. And then right now in the B block, the top two sitting at four points are Yoshinobu Kanemaru and Robbie Eagles. Let's take a look at Robbie Eagles of uh, the Mighty Don't Kneel. He is 2-0 and oh with victories over Yo and Clark Connors. Uh, the former IWGP junior heavyweight champion, Robbie Eagles, with a great start of this tournament. And then we got just five guys, Yoshinobu Kanemaru, also 2-0, with victories over Dan Maloney and a big victory over El Desperado. Wow, very surprising there. But looking very strong in this tournament so far. But yeah, so Robbie Eagles, Yoshinobu Kanemaru, the only two currently undefeated right now in the B block. And let's see, there's there's some matches uh, tomorrow for the for the B block. Let's see, we got oh we got Master Wado versus El Desperado. Okay, interesting. We got Yoshinobu Kanemaru versus uh, Kevin Knight. Have to see if Kevin Knight can can get on the board. He needs some points. Uh, let's see. We got Francesco Akira versus Robbie Eagles. Ooh, that should actually be really good. That should be really good. I'm looking forward to that. Um, we got Dan Maloney versus Yo. That that's an interesting matchup. That's an interesting matchup. And then Clark Connors versus Bushi. Um, yeah, that should be interesting as well. Bushi's another one. He he needs some points. So he needs to be able to pick up a victory. But like I said, we are still very early in this tournament. Only two nights in. And um, we got another batch of matches uh, Sunday, May 14th. And then I believe after, after Sunday, I think they take a, a one-day break. Let me see. Let me go back to the A block. Yeah, so they take a break. Monday, and then they go back to having matches on Tuesday the 16th. So yeah, that's that's the current standings of the Best of Super Juniors uh, 30. Uh, quite an interesting start uh, for some of these teams, and not and not or not some of these teams, but some of these wrestlers. But um, we've seen some upsets. Um, newcomers like Speedball Mike Bailey off to a hot hot start. Um, Leo Rush, same thing. You know, both debuting in this tournament looking really strong. But there's still a lot of tournament left to see. So, um, yeah, looking forward to seeing how the rest of this plays off, plays out. But also, uh, I want to make a note that um, Kevin Kelly announced uh, in this... Um, and night two, which um, 
Also, they had TJP on guest commentary after his match. So apparently, the way that this is going to work um, is going to work like it used to a long time ago. So the top two competitors from both blocks will advance to the playoff round. There will be a playoff round. So you'll have the, um, the top seed versus the runner-up for both blocks in the playoffs. And then the winners face each other in the finals. So that's how this is going to work. So in block A and block B, there's going to be two, two competitors that will advance. So like I said, still plenty of matches, still plenty of time to catch up, especially for those that have zero or two points or less than, you know, undefeated. So plenty of time there. But on that note, that'll conclude this Pro Wrestling Talk video. Um, don't forget to check out the link in the description to Game Beauty. And also let me know what your thoughts are on uh, Stardom's New Blood number eight. Let me know what you thought of the show. Uh, what did you think of the matches? Um, how do you feel about Rena as the new future of stardom champion? Let me know your thoughts on that. Um, how are you liking the Best of Super Juniors 30 tournament so far? Um, what do you think of the matches? What do you think of the upsets? Um, who do you think will bounce back? Who do you think will win the whole thing? Who do you think will advance to the playoffs? Let me know what your thoughts are. And don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Thank you so much for watching. Appreciate all of your love and support, and I hope you enjoyed the content. For another Pro Wrestling Talk video brought to you by Blitzball Champ Gaming here on the U to the 2, I'm your host, Jason Ingram. Hope everybody has a blessed day. Um, happy Mother's Day uh, to all those watching, to all the mothers out there in the world. Um, this day is for you. God bless. Take care. Peace.